Hi everybody, it's Pat Jones. I think most of you know by now I'm a columnist for Golf Course Industry Magazine and Lawn and Landscape Magazine. You know, one thing our, our industries have in common is trade shows. And now the leaves are falling outside, it's that time of year, the frost is on the pumpkin, we're playing football, but it also means it's trade show season. It's our off season, so it's time to go out there and go to those shows, learn, go to those seminars and do things. But I want to encourage you to rethink the way you approach trade shows. It's a huge investment. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of time when you go to those shows. So my watchwords to you this year for trade show season are to go ape. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. Okay? Ape begins with the letter A. And A stands for agenda. What's your agenda at this trade show you're going to? Is it something you're just going to go to and have fun? Or are you just going to hang around? Or are you going to take it seriously and have objectives? My objective this year is to find a better job. My objective this year is to find new customers. My objective is to form a strategic partnership with another contractor. Or my objective is to go and do the best job possible I can buying new equipment and supplies for my business. Whatever it is, write it down. Have that agenda in front of you. Think through it. Everything you want to accomplish at that show. The next thing you need to do when you're going ape is to have a plan. You need to simply go through and say, okay, my objectives are this. What specific things do I need to do? Who do I need to see? When can I see them? Call them, usually about two weeks in advance, and set that time. Treat this like you would treat almost like a military campaign. It needs to be timed down to the minute. It's not good enough to say, hey, I'll see you at the show. You and I both know that never happens. It just doesn't work out that way. So have your plan, write things down, have it scheduled day to day, to some extent minute by minute, because you want to use that time as well as you possibly can. Last but not least, if you're going ape, you've got to execute. You've got to do what you plan to do. Sometimes it doesn't work out, you miss a meeting here or there, but you've got to stick to your plan and execute it. You can't get tied up going and having fun, maybe having a few too many bars or beers in the bar the night before, missing an appointment in the morning. You have to focus. Again, it's a huge investment of your money and your time. So you've got to execute and do what you say. The last thing, and unfortunately it doesn't really fit with my whole APE acronym, is follow up. You're going to come home from that show with a whole pile of notes, hopefully, and a whole pile of business cards. You have to follow up, even if it's just a quick phone call, a quick email, best of all, a handwritten thank you note. Just get a little Hallmark card. Thanks for taking the time to meet with me at last week's turf show. I look forward to talking with you more about the job opportunity you have. Or, thanks for making me the offer on this great new equipment. I appreciate the discount. I'll be in in a couple of weeks to finalize the purchase. Whatever it might be, memorialize it. Follow up. So I guess you're going to go APE plus F. Follow up. So, this year's trade show season, I want you to focus, I want you to do it right, get the most out of it that you can, and when you're not busy going ape, have some fun. I'm Pat Jones, thanks for listening.